everyone, and it's time for Get to the Point. Get to the Point, Dale Chanel's 48th World. What you got to tell us today? What happened out there in the entertainment world? Well, guys, Stacey Dash and her husband caught herself getting into a little altercation, and Stacey Dash got booked. <laughs> All courtesy of TMZ News Reporting Station, okay? Child Stacy Dash put hands on her husband. And then she called 911, thinking they going to help her out by reporting the incident. And they came to her defense, in a sense, to see what she was talking about as far as this 911 call. Talking about her husband put her in a chokehold, and she had to defend herself. Well, you tell me why. Why or oh why? Both of them didn't get arrested because that's what they used to say. If they see physical evidence on both parties have did something to one another, then doggone it, everybody going to jail. Not the kids, of course, but the two adults that were privy to being in that altercation. But it seems like they just escorted Miss Dash or I don't know what her last name is. Marty, well, her husband's name is Marty, but we're just going to keep it at Stacey Dash because this is her fourth marriage from what I'm understanding. So it probably would be uh, a time going further, more likely in the near future, they might get a divorce because she just don't have a good track record in marrying folks. And it just seems like she got a little bit of Kenya Moore in her where she date black. But Mary White, even though she was married to Christopher Williams, he's a little R&B singer. I not heard much from him lately, but I believe they were married at one time. That's not your food, Jane. Stop. And uh, <clears throat> so she did get married to a black man. But I guess she said once you go white, you just don't go back dog. OK, I don't know. I don't know. But that's not even the subject we're talking about. We're talking about Stacey Dash got locked up. OK. She got locked up trying to defend herself. The whole purpose was they must have got into some fist, well, not a fist fight, but they got into an argument. It seems like maybe his child, meaning her husband, had uh, jumped in her face. She didn't like it. She had gotten her personal space. So Stacey said she pushed her off of her or pushed her away from her. And I guess the husband came in and jumped in because that was his biological child from another um from another marriage or, or relationship. And he just didn't feel like, I guess, Stacia should be pushing on his child. Well, really, it's her child, too, because they got married. Then they say stepmom, stepdad. Okay. But maybe that's not it. That's not how they're seeing it at this time. So, basically, Stacy jumped on the phone, called the popo. Popo was like, okay, give me as much brief information as you can. We got some patrol officers coming to your assistance. Okay. So, when they got there... They looked at the situation. They saw more marks on her husband than they saw on Stacy. And they said, okay, you come on with us. <laughs> all polite and everything. If you go to TMZ, they'll show you all the video footage you would want to have. They show uh, the police officer being very nice to her and whatnot, even though he got her hands behind her back in handcuffs, which I'm like, if you want to just do all that, he could at least took the girl or uh, handcuffs off, you know, because she wasn't violent to nobody else. She was just trying to put hands on her husband, okay? And um, they locked her up in a police car, and I guess they talked with her. But it seems like they did take her to the police station. And from what I'm reading off and on from these different bloggers that have the information out there, and they're trying to post their stories uh, as well, she got booked on a simple battery. So I don't know if that's a misdemeanor in a sense, or could that be considered as a felony as well? Because she's in the state of Florida where I think all this happened. But I'm like, girl, you ain't kidding your boy. I tell y'all like them white men, honey. But you can't be going up beating up on them. They too light. They show real quick evidence of foul play you know what i'm saying so uh, you might have was trying to scratch him while he had you up in that chokehold but he made sure he didn't leave no prints around your neck okay because you kind of like they could have saw some real evidence of some uh, 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 a real strong chokehold or some bruises or something but maybe he was lightly 
uh, choking you. I don't know if that's a, um, something you can do. I mean, I guess you can do it when you're having sex, you know, but then I, I don't know because that's, you know, that's like SMM and all that stuff. Okay, I don't get into that rough sex. I, I like it smooth and soft, smooth and soft. But um, most people like it hard, wild. And, and and just crazy, you know, shaking from uh, chandeliers and throwing up against the wall. Nope, got bad back, got bad knees. Can't be doing all that. Okay, but anyway, I was being extra then one. I, okay, too much information. Let's get back to the story. Okay, so that's my take on it. I feel like, hey, you put hands on me, I'm going to put hands on you. And we just going to go down fighting, okay? But, of course, I'm a little darker than Stacy, but evidently, they didn't find no evidence that he did any forced trauma to her. So I guess that's why they took her to jail. So like I tell everybody, don't put your hands on nobody. If you feel like you got to put your hands on somebody, just walk away. Get your purse or get your wallet. Get on in your car or take a walk somewhere where you could just, you know, uh, let cooler heads prevail. Because there ain't nobody got time for leaving no kids up in no foster care or with your parents and stuff while you sitting up in the popo oh, oh, click clank cell. Okay, where it's very small, you can't move around without getting dizzy and trying to figure out how the hell you got in this situation. Okay, okay, but we're going to go to the article that was written by one of TMZ, TMZ journalists. Don't really give the name, it just says staff journalists. Okay, so we're going to go with the title. It says, Stacy Dash, 911 call, my husband put me in a chokehold. That's what the article said, but hell, you should have put him in a chokehold because you the one got arrested. I mean, do something to somebody to make you want to get arrested and probably book and sentence, and then you're going to have to have a, a court trial, okay? Do something that's worth it. It worth going and sitting in that little bitty, not, what, a 9 by 9 cell or something, 9 by 11 cell? I, I don't know, but it's got from the picture, see, I ain't no bit of jail. I'm too pretty and too scared to go up in there, all right? I will cower down. We're talking about putting me in some handcuffs and, and sending me where the boats, the dead boats go clunk and you can't get out on your own. Nah, I can't do that. I can't do it. <laughs> no, no, just put me in the grade then because I'm going to die. I'm telling I'm going to die. But anyway, going back to the article, it says Stacy's manager, Nick Terry, just put out a statement claiming our report of Stacy's husband choking her was untruthful. OK, however, if you listen to the call, 911 call, you hear Stacy very clearly state her husband put her in a chokehold and claim she had marks around her neck. And see, that's why you, uh, uh, Stacy, don't get nobody talking for you. OK, he might be your manager, but he's not a good PR person because clearly on that 911 date. And if anybody, you know, listening to the sound of my voice, you want to go hear it. Um, going over to TMZ, they have it where it plays for a few seconds, but it's very clear. If the audio is very good. It, it, she simply states that, yes, her husband put her in a chokehold. So that manager of hers, he need to be fired, just like her career. Done gone to the dogs, done gone lay down somewhere and retire. She need to retire, uh, Mr. Terry, Nick Terry, okay, he ain't doing no good for her at this time. Woo, and her husband that she uh calls herself scratching up and you know getting her put behind them bars. He's a lawyer himself. I don't know if he's an entertainment lawyer, he's a trial lawyer, he's a criminal lawyer. You know, I, I don't know, but you know, sometimes you can't be putting your hands on lawyers either, attorneys, because they know all about the law. Okay. So we're going back to the article. It says how okay, uh 2 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're obtaining uh, the 911 call in which you hear Stacy tell the operator she's been assaulted by her husband. She claims the husband, a uh, 15 year old daughter, got in her face and that started the whole situation. Okay. Cause everybody don't like everybody up in their personal space, especially if you ain't trying to get freaking nasty with them. You know what I'm saying? And it's a, if it's a heterosexual relationship, it's, you know, the man and the woman trying to get freaky. Or if, you know, it's a, it's a gay relationship, you know, you know what I'm saying about it. Only if it's warranted. Only if it's warranted. You know what I'm saying? You, you're both consenting for that physical space to be, uh, we call it, uh, tampered with in a sense. But anyway, uh, it was unwanted space that um, Marty, her husband's daughter, was getting in. She didn't want her that close to her. She probably could smell her breath, and that probably had did something as well. So she had to push her off her, you know what I'm saying? So it says uh, 11, 16 a.m., Pacific Standard Time, we obtained video from the arrest in which Dash is visibly upset at one point. 
The officer strikes up a conversation with Stacy, asking where she was or where she was from and what she does for a living. Stacy reveals she's an actress, starting Clueless, because uh, that's pretty much what's her fame to claim. I don't know why she didn't say that, which was more recent, um, her political stinks in you know Congress and, and, and trying to do uh, co commentary. She was a correspondent, I think, for NBC, CBS. Hell, I don't know. But yeah. I know she was trying to talk about... Uh, she was trying to talk about uh, politics and things of that nature, and she wasn't doing too. She wasn't doing good at all. She wasn't doing good at all. Then she was up there with the president, uh, smoozing with him, and we know he ain't made America great yet. He has not made America great. He promised, but he lied. Okay, he didn't keep up with that promise campaign promise he made to the people. But anyway, going on uh, from there, she, you know, she said clueless. She could have said that. Uh, what that picture was called? Singles. Single ladies or something like that. She was on with Queen Latifah and uh, Lisa Ray and something like that. I don't understand why she didn't do that claim to fame because at least she was seen in somewhat of a good light. Clueless, that was like a little, um, we call it childhood type sitcom that was on featuring her and I forgot the other little girl name, but it was like a, a sitcom for young people. And um, then she was, what else she was on? I think she was in Mo Better, no, it wasn't on Mo Better Blues, but it was some kind of uh, urban type movie she was in. And uh, you're trying to make her way through the acting scene, but nothing really lately. And she should have just said she's a, a, what do you call it? A normal, everyday uh, working, hard American working citizen. That would have been best because the man act like he still didn't know who she was. He said, oh, you're an actress. Oh, cool, cool, cool. And he ain't heard from her. And he's young enough to have heard from her. But, you know, like I said, if he's not into entertainment, he probably wouldn't know who she is or he would have known who she was when he came to her front door still. Okay. But moving on back to the article, it said um, 10.21 a.m., Pacific Standard Time, a source close to Dash tells TMZ she acted in self-defense. The source claims Stacy's husband attacked first, uh, attempted to choke Stacy, and she defended herself, which resulted in him getting scratches on his arm. We're told Stacy is the one who called 911, and she was arrested because she didn't have any marks on her, but her husband did. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Make sure you get some marks on both parties, all right? So we both, all of us can go to jail beside the kids unless the kids be dropping in trying to defend uh, whomever. Okay, then everybody got to go in my book. Everybody got to go. They got to see what the law is all about and charges must be brought against everybody, okay? So everybody's up there swinging, trying to tap shit and trying to physically assault people with weapons or items that could be deemed as weapons, everybody got to go. Everybody got to go and spend a night in jail and hopefully no infractions are bought, no, uh, not even a misdemeanor, you know, uh, no felonies. Just get that little, uh, how do you say it, scare straight type of tactic. Have everybody just sit in the cooling room for for now and then they'll know, don't pick up nothing. Don't try to start none. There won't be none, okay? But then we go back, it says, um, Stacey Dash was arrested for domestic violence in Florida over the weekend. DMZ have learned. Law enforcement sources tell us the clueless actor was busted Sunday in Pasco County where she owns a home. Where she owns, yeah, she owns a home after getting into a squabble with her new husband, Jeffrey Marty, and alleged putting hands on him. Now, the place where they arrested her, that must seem like an apartment or a condo, but that didn't look like it was no house. But I ain't trying to say that they ain't got no house. All right, I'm just showing, uh, trying to give y'all my feedback, my perspective, because it seemed like that was a hotel, though, that they arrested her at, or it was a, a apartment, though. But like I said, I don't live in Florida, so everything may be a little, you know, looking a little different than what I'm used to, okay? So don't fault me on that one. But uh, it said, we're told cops were called to a home around 7.45 p.m. to respond to a domestic dispute between Stacy and Jeff. I was supposed to say Stacy allegedly pushed and slapped him, and that's when officers arrived. They saw scratches on his left arm. Stacy was taken into custody, where she's currently being held on a $500 bond. We're also told in types of these types of incidents, the local authorities open have an open hold policy for a 24-hour cooling-off period. The couple just got hitched last spring in a secret wedding ceremony down in the Sunshine, Florida State. Not much is known about her hubby of one year, other than the fact that he's a lawyer. It's Stacy's fourth marriage. Okay, I like Stacy. You don't struck out, baby, and that 
that uh, last marriage you got, don't put you in the client. Don't put you in a holding cell. They put you in there just to cool you off. And then you had to call the popo to come and give you a ride to the jail. How when you should just roll on down there yourself. Say, where's your empty uh, cell that I can rest my head? <laughs> I can rest my head in and my body because I just assaulted my husband. He just got some scratches on him. Uh, can my bail be just a dollar? Don't charge me 500 because I ain't get nobody to come and give me no escort. I just drove my behind on down here because I know how Pasco County get down. Y'all going to lock up the first person that has the mark. So here, lock me up. Give me the handcuffs. I can put them on myself. Show me where I need to reside for uh, 24 hours and then let me out. Just, you know, I want my breakfast. You know, tell me what you want for breakfast and all that good stuff. But, Lord, I'm just laughing about this. I'm like, I, I have never heard of such a mess where it is good that you separate the two because nothing was really done so uh, massive that it could be forgiven. It could be seen like, okay, y'all need to go to anger management classes, okay? Y'all seriously can't be putting hands on each other because it could be leading to something much, much worse. So I'm going to take your wife or better yet, let me take you on down now to the client. I ain't going to, we just going to type it up, but it ain't going to be on your uh, record. Okay. In case anything come up, like you're trying to get a good job or you're trying to get some high clearance in the military or whatever, they ain't going to see it. They ain't going to see this little slap on the wrist type of infraction, but I need to take one of y'all. I ain't coming back 24 hours later and somebody be dead up in here. Somebody need to go to the hospital because they missing a limb. You see what I'm saying? So which one of y'all want to go? That's how I would have did it. You know, but hey, it ain't me. I ain't no officer of the law. And, you know, they, I guess they had to pay her for them using uh, public community service type vehicles. <laughs> but that was a expensive ass ride and a expensive ass hotel stay in the clank, clank, if you know what I mean. But that's all I have for this video. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about this mess of a mess of a situation okay and i would definitely love to hear from you all but that's all i have for this video talk to you soon bye bye